Hey guys, what's up? DLive here, and I am here with Will You Press the Button? It's basically a game where you get an ability, a power, or some kind of gift, but there's something bad that comes with it, and you have to weigh the bad against the good and either press the button and take the good and the bad, or say no and decline both. And of course, the first one I get is like a freaking doozy. You get a million dollars, but someone you are only acquaintance with dies that is like the ultimate i think moral test of like anything i i have ever seen because you, the person that's dying you you've only just met you have really no impression of them they could be a good person they could be a bad person they could be somebody in the middle but uh this this ends up being an easy and uh, i guess not easy it, it's still tempting it's like you know, you get a million dollars, but at the same time, I, I just couldn't live with myself if I ended up causing somebody's death. A decision I made ended up causing somebody's death. I don't know if I'd be able to live with myself. I'd probably feel way too guilty. So I'm going to say, I will not. Let's see. 63% of the people pressed this button. Oh my god, you people are heartless. I was, I was the third. I was expecting it to be... <laughs> That's a really good dilemma, though. That's a really good dilemma. There's some things down here that says, Die, you bastard. I don't give a shit. Jesus Christ. That is a good dilemma, though. But, uh, 63% of people press that button. Oh, my goodness. All right. So, it's just, the sleep is no longer required, but you cannot ever leave the city you live in. Oh, man. That would, that would be, oh, you would never have to sleep. You could do whatever you want. But at the same time, like, what if, the person you're with like you're involved with your girlfriend your boyfriend has to sleep like you, you get bored i think i'd rather like sleep is awesome i actually love sleep i love just laying and not doing anything so this is an easy one i'm gonna say i will not and i would also want to travel so i'm gonna say i will not 27 percent of people press this button there we go i am in the majority yeah you get the newest prototype of google glass which lets you cheat in casinos <laughs> You have to watch animal porn pop up advertisements every five minutes. <laughs> this is a funny dilemma. Yeah. So you have to watch animal porn <laughs> every five minutes. <laughs> so you can basically cheat in casinos. But wouldn't they know that if they saw it? Like, I don't know. Uh, money is not that most important to me. And I don't really want to watch animal porn. So I'm not going to press it. How many people? 52% of the people enjoy animal porn. <laughs> That's a good dilemma, though. Like, you could win at casinos and go and do really well. Okay. You will get... Oh, my. I don't, I don't even know how to say that. Like, what? what is that? A, a, a million? It's more than a trillion. It's basically a thousand trillions. You'll get a thousand trillions a day. It will only begin to happen once all your friends and family are dead. But, like, like this is not really a dilemma. It only begins to happen once all your friends and family are dead. So, if you press the bud, it doesn't hurt your chances, right? It's like a, a freebie. Like, I don't, I guess it gives you the temptation to murder your friends and family. But I wouldn't do that. But I guess, I don't know, Would you would never... You would have to, you would never get it. Because if, unless you're children if you never have children and your brothers and sisters never have children and your aunts and uncles never have children and the bloodline just stops but uh i guess i could press the button and it's not gonna hurt my chances right 38 percent of the people have pressed this button like come on people are you not thinking it doesn't hurt you it does not hurt you you will get the money if it happens if everybody's dead and you're alone then you can make new friends and find it a young wife and have some children before you die <laughs> that's like an easy one i guess it's a good dilemma i thought it was easy all right for the rest of your life you will get to sleep on the biggest softest most comfiest bed in the whole world but it's constantly covered in layer of crumbs you can't ever get rid of <laughs> for the rest of your see the biggest softest comfiest bed is constantly covered in layers of crumb you can never get away. What kind of crumbs is it, though? Is it breadcrumbs? Because I would eat that. 
I'd be able to eat and sleep in bed. If it's like, if what if it's chocolate crumbs? What if it's candy crumbs? Is, is that a, such a thing, candy crumbs? What, I, I'd be able to eat and sleep at the same time. I'm pressing this button. 31% of people press this button. Why is not more people pressing buttons? I am like the odd person. I like that. I'd be able to eat and sleep. Uh, you can learn how to play any song on any instrument just from hearing it once. The second anyone tries to record it, every note you play will sound like nails on a chalkboard. Um, I guess... I'd be able to play it as long as nobody was recording it. I'm going to press the button. That's an easy one. Like, you know what? If they try to record me, it's going to be like nails on a chalkboard. I can't play instruments anyway, so I now can play any song I want on any instrument just from hearing it once without no effort. Yeah, I'm going to press this button. 60% of the people. I am in the, in the positive. I am in the, the majority. I, I, that was an easy one. I guess some people who are actually good at instruments would have not pressed the button because they they would have been able to do it. You will become God, but you won't be able to do anything. So what's the point? <laughs> what's the point? You will become God, but you won't be able to do anything. What's the point of becoming God then? I guess you would be immortal. You just sit there and do absolutely nothing. I will not. 28% of the people have pressed the button. Yeah, I, I figured that was good. Yeah, that was a bad dilemma. You can never at any point for any reason die. You will exist for all time and are essentially indestructible. This ability is exclusively yours and cannot be passed on to anyone else nor gotten rid of in any way. Ooh, that is interesting. That's like, there's no negative to it, but at the same time, you'll never, never die. So, like, what if the world just ends and no one is left and you're just sitting there? Even if, let's say, the planet explodes, are you just going to, like, just fly through space and time, get stuck in the sun, get stuck in a black hole? That's, uh, yeah, no, I would not. Like, I'd rather be able to, if I, if I could pass it on to one other person, then maybe. But, no, I will not. 54% of the people press this button. Wow. 54% of the world's population will just float. I guess they wouldn't be alone. <laughs> I guess that's a good dilemma. That's a good dilemma. You become a billionaire, but no one likes you. <laughs> no one will like me ever. I'm going to say I will not. Money is not a huge thing. A lot of these are money. Like, the money is not a huge thing to me. So it's, it's easier for me to answer that. 47% of the people press this button. That's a lot of people that just care about money and not... Not about people liking them. Nobody will like I need, Your mom won't like you. Your mom won't like you. Why Why would you want your mom not to like you? You can teleport without any limits, but you become really sweaty to a point you can't even see. <laughs> it's, it's, are you sweaty? Like so much sweat is in your eyes, the salt burns your, your vision. Do you get your vision back? This is a this is a loaded little question here. It's not very descriptive. You become really sweaty to a point you can't even see. Um, so is it as you go? Like the more you teleport, the more you'll sweat. I don't know. You could teleport without any limits. That's pretty crazy. You could teleport to Mars if you really wanted to. You could teleport to Pluto. You could teleport across the space to an earth-like planet to see if life is there and come back and record it i'm gonna say yes because they make deodorant old spice deodorant i use that and that keeps me from sweating so what if i just apply it to my hair and my brow wear goggles i could wear goggles like i'm cheating this you could wear goggles unless your eyes actually sweat can your your eyes can't sweat they you could cry maybe it's crying maybe you cry that's uh, crying is eye sweating. How about that? Next time you're crying or somebody and somebody's like, why are you crying? Like, I'm just sweating, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm gonna press this button. 52% of the people press this button. That was a good dilemma though. That was a good dilemma. That was a good one. That was a close one. All right. Next one. Everyone you love will live long and happy lives, but you will die. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'm going to die anyway. We're all going to die unless we find the fountain of youth. <laughs> you will die sometime. 
Like, it's not saying you will die instantly. Everyone you love will live long and happy lives, but you will die. Like, I don't understand. Like, are you dying at this point? Let's treat it at this. The real dilemma is everyone you love will live long and happy lives, but you will die right now. You're gone. You're done. That's a really, really tough question. I'm going to make this question even better. I'm making it even better. Um, that is tough because you want to see your loved ones all live long, but at the same time, I want to live. So I'm going to say, I'm not going to press the button. Like, I know a lot of people are going to probably think, oh, I'll just die no matter what. But I'd want to live, like, I know my, 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 if, like, my parents knew this decision and stuff, that I made this decision, they'd be very upset and they wouldn't be happy. They wouldn't have happy lives because I died. So it's like, I guess... I don't know, that's a tough question. I'm gonna say I will not. So 59% of the people press this button. That's a lot of people, very selfless people. I'm not a selfless person. So I wanna live, I wanna live. You get to marry the person on your dreams. <laughs> you get to marry the person that sits and squashes your dreams. But your best man bridesmaids will die at the wedding. Oh my God, <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> Be like, by the way, you guys are all going to die at my wedding. Uh, I will not. I will not. I'm going to, I'm just going to go. 52% of the people press this button. What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is horrible. That is horrible. Jeez. Oh, my goodness. 52% of the people just said they would kill their best man and bridesmaids at their wedding. Jesus, that's a good dilemma, apparently. All right, you have x-ray vision, but you cannot turn it off, ever. So that that is, that is a, that's pretty awesome to have x-ray vision, but you cannot turn it off. So if you're in front of a bunch of old ladies or old men, or any anybody that you don't want to see naked, you're gonna see them naked all the time. But then you're gonna get to see, you know, your 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 favorite little, uh, favorite love, your favorite love, and you'll get to see them naked all the time. <laughs> That's not perverted or anything. I'm trying to stop myself from being perverted, but it's not working very well. Uh, I'm going to say I will not, because I would not want to see some things. 36% of the people have pressed this button. That's a good dilemma, though. You have a great life, but every time you look at a child, they fall. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. All the kids will fall. Beneath. All the kids will fall at my discretion. I, I love it. I love it. <laughs> if anybody doesn't know, my Twitter feed... Uh, if people follow me on Twitter, they will know that I wa I enjoy watching people fall. Like, it's a favorite pastime of mine. I enjoy it. This is the best button ever. It would be smashed. I have a great life, and I get to watch people fall constantly, especially kids who are screaming. So if I see a child that I, I don't want to make them fall, I'll just be like, okay, hey, go away. If I accidentally look at a school bus and all the kids, go, I'll just go to a school and just like stare and like look around at the walls and kids will just continually fall down. But yeah, that is the best button ever. I am pressing that. 72% of the people have pressed this button. Congratulations. You guys are amazing. Just, just like, that's just the best thing ever. That's the best superpower ever. Make children fall. I'm not you guys. I would make you guys fall. Don't worry. You guys are not gonna fall. You guys are not the annoying kids. You guys are safe. It's all the kids that annoy you. I'll make them fall too. Just let me know. Message me down below and I will make that person fall <laughs> by staring at them. But uh, I'm gonna stop there. That was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. There are some weird ones, really bad ones that like are not dilemmas at all. Some of them because I guess anybody can create one. So you can actually create your own dilemmas if you really want to. I'm actually very interested in doing some of mine. Really, really good ones. And hopefully, like, people leaving good and bad, like, weeds out all the bad ones. If you guys would like to see any more, let me know. Because this was really fun. 
I didn't know I was gonna have this much fun with this. It was it was pretty cool. A lot of people recommended this on Akinator. I saw a lot of people playing this a couple weeks ago, and I've just been seeing people say, "Pray, play. Will you press the button?" A lot of like I had uh, that flash game Angry Red button. Um, it was on there too. But thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys for recommending it. If you want to see any more, leave a like down below, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye.